Well, it looks like she's on the road to recovery. An amazing update on Valerie Harper tops tonight's Entertainment City. Some good news for Valerie Harper. We're now learning the actress, who was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer and told back in March that she had just three to six months to live, may be on the mend. Harper's doctor tells NBC's Meredith Vieira her prognosis is now looking optimistic. So if you were assessing Val's condition in layman's terms right now, what would you say? I'd say that we're, we're getting pretty close to a remission. The update on the 74-year-old's condition was revealed in a preview for an upcoming TV special about the star's battle with a rare form of cancer. A lot of stuff that looks impossible is not, and every day there's evidence of it. It defies the odds. It's great to hear. Yeah. While the latest tests show Harper may be close to a remission, doctors say she isn't out of the woods yet. There's still a chance her condition could deteriorate at any moment. It's feeling I'm looking in an old mirror. But the actress who rose to fame playing Rhoda on the Mary Tyler Moore show remains hopeful. She's even taking on new challenges. Just yesterday, she reportedly signed on to compete in the upcoming season of Dancing with the Stars. Here's something fans of Mark and Donnie Wahlberg can really sink their teeth into. The Celebrity Brothers are set to open a Toronto location of their restaurant Wahlburgers that serves up, you guessed it, burgers. The guys created their first eatery in their hometown of Boston two years ago. The T.O. Comfort Food Joint is expected to open its doors in the Soho Metropolitan Hotel on Wellington Street at Peter sometime early next year. I watched a lot of movies, Paul. I know what I'm doing. In the meantime, the talented bros can be spotted in town on September 9th when they celebrate the resto announcement at the Toronto Hotel during TIFF. Hundreds of screaming Justin Timberlake fans were whipped into a frenzy outside of a New Jersey nightclub for a chance to appear in the singer's upcoming commercial. JT reached out to his followers last night with this tweet, Join me and Target tonight for just one song. Let's take back the night. First 150, get in. See you there. Less than an hour later, police were called in to help control the crowd on the packed street outside of the Hoboken hotspot. Word is the star's wife, actress Jessica Spiel, was spotted nearby. Hit city drama Scandal is making a new friend. Good morning, Olivia. Call off your puppy. No. No. Lisa Kudrow has signed on for a recurring role in the show's upcoming season. Oh, please, somebody tell me I don't have to go to work today. This marks the actress's biggest commitment to TV since her breakout role as the kooky Phoebe Buffay on Friends. While we do know Kudrow will be playing a politician during Scandal's upcoming third season, producers have yet to reveal her character's name or when we can expect to catch the star's first appearance. Stay tuned. Why don't you just give them to somebody else? No, I can handle it. No, I'm a professional. <laughs> High stakes bidding comes to your living room tonight with the premiere of Storage Wars Canada. 75 a meter now 80, 80 would go 5, 85 and now 90, we get a 90, now 100, would you go 100, now 10? Yes, I know. But <laughs> you, you have to be able to pick the numbers out. Words of wisdom from one of the stars of Storage Wars Canada. Start paying your bills or I'm going to own your shit. You've all seen the original series, but how does this show differ from its American counterpart? We're nicer people. <laughs> and I'm training him to be a nice person. Even in this atmosphere, you'd be a nice person? Well, we're nice to each other, not to oh, the other okay. people. Yeah. We don't care about them. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, it's a war zone out there. <laughs> you know, they got 13. Oh, we, did we miss 13? Oh, when money gets involved, people do crazy things. Yeah. We're not in Kansas anymore. The gloves are off when you enter that world. 14 to the 14 to the 14. Oh, 10, yeah. 10, uh, so, $1,300, Roy Bice. Storage Wars Canada premieres tonight on OLN.